Hello, this is Bern, and if you've ever felt unnecessarily anxious because the guy that you're interested in is not doing too much, so you step into his role and start texting him or asking him out or pressuring him to remember you, stick around because I'm going to be sharing with you why you should never chase a guy and what you can do instead that's 10 times more powerful. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to be.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and I am super excited because I'm going to be sharing with you why you should never pursue a guy and what's an alternative that's 10 times more powerful that actually gets you what you want. Here's the situation far too many women who are amazing forget how amazing they are when they feel something strong for a guy. And the moment they feel that, instead of relaxing and letting the guy take the pace and pursue them, they start doing little things or big things to pursue the guy and to chase him to a point where he starts feeling cornered, he starts feeling this heavy feeling, and he starts running away. So instead of creating that, I mean, and the reason why that happens is because of these four things, right? Number one reason why a guy feels cornered is because it lowers your perceived value in him. If you are the kind of girl or woman who has to do little things to get his attention, when he's, not, when he's already connected with you, he's, if he's not stepping up to the plate to do things, then he starts thinking in the back of his head, she's not that awesome, because if she were more awesome, she, would have more, she wouldn't have to do this, right? No woman who has high value has to step up to the plate and pursue a guy ever. And guys know this, and they'll get away with as much as they can. So that's the number one reason, because it lowers your perceived value in the guy. Number two reason why this guy basically is probably going to stop wanting to connect with you is because it lowers, dramatically lowers the hunger for him to pursue you. Think about it this way. Most men, the kind of man you want, most likely, I'm going to take a wild guess, is a strong, masculine, open-hearted guy who thrives on breaking free and thrives and conquering and thrives and finding the answer to the challenge, the key to the puzzle, right? And if you hand him the solution to the puzzle, just like that, then his hunger to solve the puzzle drops, <laughs> metaphorically speaking. So uh, that's the second reason. The third reason is because it forces you into your masculine. And when it forces you into your masculine, you can't be doing both things at the same time power at the same time. So if you start stepping up and doing the things he should be doing to get you, then you stop doing the things that you should be doing to attract him, which means opening up, relaxing, shining your light, being expressive, being fun. Why? Because it's hard for you to be fun and friendly when you're also having to do things and feeling anxious about him not stepping up to the plate. Number four, it sets you up for a mindset of scarcity versus abundance. So it sets you up to the point where you're starting to think, well, if he doesn't show up and I don't do this, I'm not going to get what I want. And that is the absolute saddest thing you as an amazing woman can start feeling. Because if anything, if the guy doesn't step up and you relax, you should be able to connect to somebody else. But if you don't feel that way, then you're going to lower your value and connect with him in a way that's not getting you what you want. So what's the alternative to the whole thing, that the whole mess that we're describing right now? The alternative to this whole thing is relaxing and Two things, A, stepping back and bringing your energy to the point where a guy feels this butterflies in his stomach too, where he feels excited, he feels your sensuality, he feels your amazingness, but also where you have the inner groundedness to lean back and wait. Lean back and hold off until he starts taking more action. To not give him the time, not give him the energy, not give him the, all the passion until he actually deserves it. Because the moment you do that, the moment, he, if he's a guy who has any intelligence or wit or hunger, he's going to feel something shift inside. And the moment he feels that shift inside, then the tables have turned and he's doing something to connect with you. Now, if he doesn't, it just means he's not your guy. If the guy, when you relax and you bring your aliveness, you relax, you lean back, the guy is not showing up to do what he needs to do. He is not your guy move away, move on, and there'll be plenty of guys who at that level you're vibrating will want to connect with you. I hope this is helpful, useful, insightful in some way. If it is, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, uh, on the description of this video or on the link right here, you're going to see a link that allows you to subscribe to a three-part blueprint. It's a webinar that will show you how to find your soulmate in 90 days or less. It's super powerful and it's free. If you have any questions for me, feel free to either leave me a comment below or 
and I can either maybe create a video for you or just reply personally to all your questions. Thank you so much and as always I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.